Hey, what is up? My name is Oli and I'm the head coach over at Rise Academy. Rise Academy is a, it's an online coaching platform and uh, what we do there, we, we specialize in helping individuals, especially guys, I work specifically with men. And, and what we do, we give them the tools to really like achieve their fitness results, but more importantly, like get those results and keep them. Because one of the things when, when the guys come to Rise Academy is they've all tried something before okay they've all tried some type of diet before some type of training plan and they come to me and and they're like you know what i've tried everything and, and i'm kind of like running out of options and and there's this thing which looks pretty cool from the outside and i want to have an experience when it comes to that so we get them on board and one thing i've realized working with all those guys over the past three years a lot of of my colleagues obviously will be giving you a lot of information and and what happened is as a consumer we you you will find yourself in this situation where you have too much information so you just don't know what to do or even how to do it so for example um we have there's a bunch of people out online we have a lot of uh, of influencers in the fitness space and and i mean somebody will tell you that you need to count your calories it's all about calories in calories out and the other guy who is also popular, who's also got, I don't know, 3 million followers, is going to tell you, well, you don't need to count your calories. So in the end, you divide it between those those two approaches. And, and, and this is one of the things I see the guys struggling a lot with. And my goal um, with, this, with this video is really to give you like something actionable, something that you can actually do right at the end of this video so that you can actually start changing the way you see things a little bit and ultimately you know like get some goals as so some results as well and the the whole thing with the misconception information because uh, write a blog and, and i write blogs every day so it's very easy for me to write a blog and put it out there and the big problem is those blogs and those articles which are put out there are kind of accepted as as universal truth when the science doesn't really back it up like the thing with uh, with the keto diet, for example, which is a big trend right now, and uh, and I'm not dissing the keto because it it does work, you know, it does work scientifically. It's proven that it does work, but it works for a certain type of people. And what the vast majority of of us don't understand is, well, you know, well keto worked for those guys. You know, they had like this before and after picture, and uh, and it will work for me as well. What well, it, it's not. Um, when it comes to the keto diet for example it's it's more prone it's it will it's very likely to work for somebody who is very insulin sensitive somebody who's got some some, some type of diabetes i mean we're not going to go into the whole thing I'm, I, I just wanted to highlight the problem there which is again the whole misinformation coming from from our side like the industry side coming from from the personal trainers from the coaches from the influencers i mean nowadays again you got you got a couple of thousands and, and and you can literally pay any influencer to endorse you so um there's been this uh there was a shake uh which was on tv recently and then there was a huge rave about it like it was a, a weight loss shake and and there was all those things and i could totally relate to the guys who are coming into into rise academy and they're coming confused you know and uh, i was there 10 years ago when i started training well it was hard because i didn't know where to go so the first my first stop was you know what let me go on google and let me figure out this whole fitness and nutrition thing so i went on google and and i googled you know how to get some muscles and 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 obviously i get i get a whole lot of like workout and um, pdf things and clearly i picked up the free stuff you know so i picked up a workout plan i picked up a nutrition plan as well and what i didn't know back and what i realized is i ended up buying all the supplement the guy was selling and, and, and i bought the supplement i plan actually got some results and that's the thing like most of the guys most of the guys coming into my program tell me like you know Oli um back in the days I used to be in shape I used to be strong and then right now like things are not the same anymore you know um, um I, I struggle I can't find my mojo again and they and and this is what we do in Rise Academy I, that's the first thing we do is I start teaching them about this thing at your health and fitness goal on a long-term play and, and I know it sounds corny it may sound like one of those things that we hear all the time like it's all about like you know creating sustenance it's really about like when a client's coming in, into rise academy that's um we start actually uncomfortable 
um, in, 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 the, in the August month. So we do know that there will be obviously a period where we need to put our We know that when we come back from the holidays, work will be kicking again. Structure in terms of training around that, we actually start looking at all those steps. And for each phase of the ladder, for each step of the ladder, we have benchmarks in place. It should be at a certain level. You've been consistent with your nutrition. You should have those points. And being part of the industry where we we have a lot of like six week plan, eight week plan, twelve week plan, um, twenty week plan. We got a lot of plans, and this is kind of like the standard in the. In the fitness industry it's normal it's normal to have those things because we kind of like educated to um how to say that for for the instant gratifi gratification that's the word the instant gratification plan and there's this before and after so after six weeks that's what you're going to be looking like and the reality is it's not i mean you could you could actually start yourself you could actually train really hard you could actually achieve those drastic body composition changes but the reality is you're going to pick it back up. So why not instead of you know losing, let's say, 20 pounds or 30 pounds for six or over a six week period of time, why not actually look at how you could keep that off for a whole year? And that's this whole concept of a ladder, that's what we're doing. And I really want to to, to end up this video by leaving you with this message on on how you could actually conceptualize it and, and, and really implement that as well with your training and your nutrition. Oh oh, sorry. How could you Oh uh, nah. Yeah, how could you how could you actually use that in your in, in your current training and nutrition regimen? How could you start looking long term? Okay? Like from, from from today all the way to what's today's date? To to uh next year in 2019, like how is your fitness looking? How is your training looking? How is your nutrition looking? And then really start looking at okay, like what kind of like events are going to impact my result. Most people um go on a holiday for example they go in great shape they come back in a very bad shape okay so so uh, we've got the christmas period how can you actually like take control again and really know okay this is what's going to happen and because you've done things in the past nobody is a nobody is a diet virgin most people they've already been on a diet before most people they've already been training before and uh, if you haven't it's good because you haven't been uh, uh, you haven't been cursed yet. You haven't been exposed to the virus yet. But most people, the vast majority of the clients we're getting is they've already been on a diet before. They know that they need to be on a deficit and, and to, to get some results. But what most people struggle with is how to keep those results. And that's exactly what I want you to start thinking with. You, I want you to start thinking with like your long-term goals. Like if, for example, you're starting up with your trading and, and, and your goal is to ultimately... Let's say that you want to compete, you want to do a bodybuilding show, a powerlifting show, something like that, something pretty crazy, you know. And you, you start looking at, okay, in the next 12 months, what stones I need to achieve at every single way? You know that, okay, you know what, I need to reach those benchmarks. And I know that I will be having those events. I will be, I will be going on holidays. There will be Christmas. There will be Easter. There will be Eid. And then you start factoring that in. So start looking at what you're going to be doing in the next 12 months using the data you've done before and i guarantee you that this is going to be a game changer for your fitness for your health as well for your nutrition and again the goal here is not to get fit or to actually lose a couple of pounds the goal is to actually stay fit and keep those results and that's what i believe everybody should be aiming for but in an industry where there is so much so much sorry uh, misinformation and uh, and contradiction we don't even know where to look at the simplest way i believe for you my friend will be to actually start looking at the next 12 months and i'm sure that you have some data on on, on the things you've done before the things you achieved before everybody had some type of uh, of success in the past so i really urge you to kind of look back um, what did you do which worked really well for you and, and and really start implementing that pretty simple and i hope that you enjoyed this video i hope Tag a friend in the comment, you know, tag a friend who you believe is going to benefit from that and, and, and share it as well with, with people on, on your platform. And as I said before, my name is Oli and I'm with Rice Coaching. There is nothing for sale, just some actionable, act, some actionable, what's that? Steps for you to take. And, and, and I hope that you're going to see, you're going to next 12 months, what your health and fitness looks like. You're going to be, share it. Peace out. Bye-bye.